Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers. In the last episode, we made way for the city of Sapporo in search of the next monarch of our story, and even looked into the potential monarch of Sapporo's prison, Mayuri Noriko Yoda, who just so happens to be an old friend of Haru's late father, Kuni Kazu Kumura, as well as a good friend of Haru when she was just a little girl. But even though that may be the case, there's definitely some weird things going on with her current election. After doing some digging around the city, we found out people are completely obsessed with her. And even some, um, honestly are just going under some really extreme cleaning efforts for literal mere millimeters of dust, just to make sure the town is as clean as possible since she is running a clean campaign for the town at the moment. It is definitely strange. But, it could be just in general, I don't know. Honestly, we still don't know if she really is the monarch, but it definitely is a good candidate for the monarch of this place, since there's definitely a prison, since Sophia did definitely sniff one out. So, with that being said, if, there, if she is indeed the monarch, we'll be definitely going there very much, pretty much today, very, very soon, if that's the case. But, let's definitely get into this and... Let's see what's going on. And also, I just want to bring this up because um, I just got finished with recording the last episode and I found out that I messed up the camera recording. So, um, thankfully, I still got the gameplay because um, how it works is I have two OBSs and you change the profile for one of them. So, because um, normally you can't technically open two OBSs, but you can. But if you, ch you have to have a profile that names the video a different way in order to have two different files, one for the camera and one for the video. And no, not many people talk about this, so this is for somebody that's just getting into recording. That's how you do it, and um, or at least how I do it. And it's definitely useful, but um, I messed up and I forgot to change the profile on my second OBS. So I ended up having the same profile, they had the same file name and one got replaced. Thankfully, the gameplay stayed. Usually, it's just the camera that usually stays when that happens. So, thankfully, I don't have to redo the episode. I would redo it, but the thing is, is that there's no reason really to do so. Yes, there is some reactions that would have been funny if they were in the episode, but I wouldn't be able to recreate those reactions if I were to redo the episode, obviously, because it would be a different like recording entirely, redoing the same stuff that I already saw. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal, since honestly, it was a fun episode anyway, so you, even if you guys didn't get to see me, even though it would be nice to have my camera, since that's the whole point, is me being able to interact with you guys and, you know, have, you know, a conversation between each other and even just enjoy the game together. So, although that did indeed happen, but thankfully, we did get to keep the story and everything, and we didn't lose anything super, super important, which is definitely nice. But with that being said, it's time to get into today's episode, since we're going to be getting into hopefully the next um, prison in this um, episode. So let's get ready for bed, and let's prepare for her mayoral speech that's going to be happening on August 10th. So let's do it. Mm, ready for bed? Yeah, I think so. I wonder what kind of speech Yoda's gonna make tomorrow. Same here, buddy. But apparently lots of people are gonna be there. I rested up early for tomorrow. Let's see. Oh, looks like we're going into the Velvet Room. Hey, Lavenza. Oh, I've been waiting for you. It seems that you are, and your friends are becoming much stronger. However, the shadow of calamity creeps over closer to your path. Please bear this in mind. How close is it? What calamity, calamity is this? Um, well, she's probably not going to tell us because she probably doesn't know either. Because they didn't know what the ruin was before, so... How close is it? Yeah, is it coming really, really close, or have we still got time? Well, I only know that an evil is warming its way into being, though I know not its true nature. Okay, well that's not good. As for the topic at hand, I summoned you here to notify you about your power of the wild card. The number of personas you can maintain has increased due to your growth. Oh, cool. 
<laughs> so there we go. We finally can hold new more personas. I'm surprised we didn't get to keep that ability, but thanks for um, Lavenza, we ended up getting our ability back. Because <laughs> this was something we got from the Holy Grail before, which was pretending to be Igor. And I know, you know, that is technically a spoiler, but the thing is, is we played through the other game. That was literally the last series, so if somebody's just jumping into this game, I did say that we were going to talk about, you know, potential spoilers for the previous series. So, sorry about that, but it is kind of um, weird jumping into the sequel of Persona 5 without, you know, first knowing fully about Persona 5 Royal or the original game for 5. But I definitely did jump into this um, first when it came to back in the uh, back when this first originally came out. This was my first time playing Persona 5 um, because I didn't get to play through Persona 5 original until after I beat this game. And I'll be honest there. But definitely it was the same time that I was starting to play Persona 4. So I did get to play both around the same time. So... It definitely was a fun, fun, um, fun time since, although this is like, you know, a new game plus in a way, um, it's definitely fun. <laughs> definitely, definitely fun. Because my original playthrough was on the Switch, and this is on the technically PlayStation 5, but it's the PlayStation 4 game because they don't have a PS5 game. But that's not really a matter of the console, honestly. Just in general, um, just, you know, Switch and PlayStation, it's on this, um, different system. Just because I didn't want to play it on the Switch for you guys, I wanted it to be on, like, a similar console to the last one that we played. So, I thought it would be for continuity's sake. And honestly, I think this one looks better than the Switch release by a little bit, and it loads faster. So, honestly, it's probably for the best we did this, honestly. But, with that being said, let's continue our story. Increasing the max persona limits, Joker's maximum persona stock can be increased, and you can go now carry up to 10 personas at a time. Um, raise a variety of personas to handle any combat situation, which is definitely good to do, since that is something you do in every game. In this game, it's much easier to do that, since um, you can definitely focus on swapping more often because of the fact that it's not turn-based, so you can use any persona at any point, and that's definitely useful. Your potential to wield multiple personas comes with endless possibilities. Hold this power alongside the companions between whom you formed unbreakable bonds and prepare for the coming calamity. That's definitely true. And, you know, just in general, Joker's power is definitely a um, unique ability with him, so you're not locked to one persona and locked to only using certain abilities. You're actually, you know, you have an entire, like, stock of things you can honestly use, and you can create different personas with different abilities. Always, always will be useful. Joker will never become obsolete on the team, just because of his infinite potential, which is definitely true. Because you definitely do run into some um, obsolete moments with certain person or certain characters, because some enemies just have things that just block everything they have making that character obsolete during a certain battle. So, definitely, in time, some characters will have some problems, but it'll never be full, like, for the whole game, obviously. But, definitely, that won't come in, in a case we might have somebody that might not be able to do as much, because something might drain what they do, or, you know, reflect what they do, or not even take any damage from what they do. So, definitely could happen. Well, whatever else you may need, I'm here for you. Thanks, Lavenza. We'll always look um look for you for guidance, but we don't need to craft anything. I'm returning already. Yep, time to head back. I don't need anything. I've already done all that before we even left um good old Sendai, so we really don't need to be fusing anything. I'm perfectly fine. But here we go. Sapporo. August 10th. Um, I'm sure um, you all are aware of the pry of corruption that plagued our city council. Make no mistake, no one is more shamed than I. As such, the ethics bill I propose will leave no more room for corruption to rear its ugly head. With your support, I'll make the city of Sapporo a beautiful stainless paradise, like fresh snow on a midwinter's day. Together, let us turn our home into a beacon of light, 
to the world where both citizens and government leaders radiate truth and purity. Now everyone, let's clean Sapporo up. Hmm. Okay. We're on it, Mayor Hyoda. Mayor, um, that was incredible. Hmm. Okay. So far, nothing suspicious. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like we stepped into a cult. Eh, that's just elections in general, let's be honest. Um, her popularity is unbelievable. Do you think everyone here had their hearts changed? It's still possible. Mm, crowds have a tendency to attract people. I imagine some of them came of the own volition. That's true, too. Um, Haru. Um. Mm, look, Hyodo has her phone out. Oh, so if she does talk about Emma, we might be getting it now then. And hopefully it does give us a keyword, but we still don't know if she's actually suspicious or not. It's definitely weird, some of the people around, around her though. But, huh. Oh, she's gonna say it. Be ready. Hmm. I'm sure you're all familiar with Emma, yes. I'm also no stranger to technology, so please feel free to add me. For those of you listening outside Sapporo, outside Hokkaido, or even outside the country, this invitation extends to each of you as well. Huh. The key word is Snow City. Well, there you have it. Snow City. That's a specific name, but... Ryuji did talk about a snow festival, so in the snow sculpture we heard about in the last episode when it came to that little kid that we heard that ended up dying due to a falling snow sculpture or something like that, definitely makes sense for Snow City, just because of the fact that the snow festival, um, like Ryuji was talking about, huh, wonder how, um, how the snow festival is actually like, because I don't know if we'll ever see it, but... Um, mostly because I don't remember, I'll be honest. I don't even remember if we get to take part in anything for a snow festival, but it definitely sounds cool, though, just in general. Oh, well, I need to be um, thinking her. <laughs> Shouldn't we stop and be stopping it right now? Um, don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, I'm gonna be honest, there. there's no way we need to get caught here. Oh, no, causing a scene here would only draw unwanted attention. I hate to say it. But all we can do now is watch. Well, we can at least be glad we got the keyword. Um, now we can infiltrate Hyoda's jail at any time we like. We still don't know if there really is a jail here for Hyodo. We know there's a jail, but we don't know if it's Hyodo's. So straight up saying there is one is definitely not going to be, you know, a proof of, you know, it being the case. But there definitely is something shady going on. But, huh. I guess it's fair enough, I guess. The small humans is in sushi, you know, isn't too strong. Getting inside the jail will be a problem. So the preparations have been made. Oh, then let's go, everyone. If Mari-san really is the monarch, only we can stop her. We can't hold her toy with the hearts of innocent people. <laughs> True that. Well, let's blast through this jail. We'll stop her in her tracks. Time to save Sapporo. Well, let's blast through this jail. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta blast through the door a bit. Make sure we can get in there. Um, Alright, let's le um, then let's ready up and begin the infiltration. Yeah, let's ready up indeed. People are filling out um filling filing out after the speech's conclusion. Time to make preparations for the jail. Yep, time to make preparations indeed. But it looks like we have some time. Oh, Sophia. If you see this way in and how it's near the crossing where you can see the big sign. Um, once you're already gone like there. <laughs> Roger. Um, we'll be exploring this any jail. There's no telling that's what's waiting for us in there. Let's be sure we're ready. Well, everyone's really sure we're gonna be seeing and um getting in that jail. After the mayoral elections, it's only about politics. Mayor Hyoto is the only one who can protect our city. Whenever I smell ramen, I can't help but getting some something for myself. That's a good, that's a good guy right there. <laughs> Ramen is a, is a king's food, and like I said in the last one, <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. Let's see, let's check out the rest of our team before we head right in. <laughs> this is how hearts are being changed. There is, must be a ton of victims already. <laughs> can't just let, let her um, can't just let her go on like this. We have to stop her. True there, buddy. 
well, let's check out the rest of our team to make sure how they're feeling about this. Oh, this chat story sticks out like sore thumb. Oh, now I saw the set secret medicine in there. They're not apparently makes you feel stronger and last longer. Maybe it could help you feel stronger and last longer and heal. Um... Hmm. It sounds like a different type of medicine, but okay. <laughs> if you say so, that's not very kid-friendly. <laughs> I'll be honest there. Because <laughs> I try and make this, um... You know, I try to make my episodes for everybody, so I'm just gonna keep quiet on what that sounds like, but... Huh, interesting. Hmm, have any of you noticed there's no litter on the streets? Though the city may look attractive on the surface, and beneath that veneer lies a palpable emptiness. I guess so. Hmm, interesting. But that's everyone here. Looks like we need to make our way to Odo Adori Park for everybody else. So let's see. Hey, are you? Long time to see. No matter what, I'm going to do my best. Mm. Well, no need to brace yourself, Haru. Remember, you always have us. Mm. Well, hoping I need to make you into help. <laughs> we already got you. you on that one, Sophia. You're all good. Mm, thank you. I'm alright. I've already made up my mind to see this through. Well, good on you, Haru. Sorry you have to go through, you know, taking down, you know, a lady that you actually knew as a little kid and actually looked up to, so if she is indeed the palace ruler or monarch, definitely, that's, I definitely feel bad for her. Um, what a sweet bright fragrance. Apparently this corn wagon is only open seasonally. That's, um, what got me so interested. The scarcity of it. Plus corn is most delicious around this time of the year. Excuse me, can I get two orders of grilled corn? Um, alright. Two it is. Coming right up. Uh, one's for you. You know, since you're always doing so much for us. Oh, thanks. Grilled raw corn. I'll take it. But it's, that is something we learned um, from Mar uh, Maruki. That scarcity is a way of selling products. And you would definitely pick the more scarce thing than the more common thing. So, hmm, interesting. It definitely works. Because <laughs> you can buy corn anywhere, let's be honest. But the corn cart here is only open seasonally, so you would be more happy for the corn cart than you would be for the the corn you could buy every time of the year. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny to have a... Um, well, it's a reference that I brought up in my mind because that's something I remember Murky talking about, and it was the thing about the cookies. And there was one cookie, or a whole pack of cookies, and you would more than likely pick the one cookie because the one cookie might be gourmet or something like that and you would want that one more, even though the other cookies might be the same tastiness as the one cookie. It's definitely pretty funny, honestly. But well, what about you, Juan? Oh, um, the keyword is Snow City. Sounds pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Did we even check if it, um if the keyword works? Because <laughs> we can definitely check before jumping in, but, hmm, interesting. Ooh, garden. What's this? Oh, geez, whoops. Um, what do you say you look at the free for the clover? I hear it brings luck to those who find it, and I want to get things to happen from each of you. Hmm. Um, sure, let's do it. Okay, well that's interesting. So there's a little secret interaction here. Interesting. I couldn't find any. Well, nothing, huh? Oh, but maybe it's why it's worth looking because it's so rare. Anyways, thanks for trying. Oh, you gave me bomb points. Can I do it again? Or is that a one-time thing? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if that's a one-time thing, but that's cool, though. Maybe if we come back to the next day, we can try again. That's cool, though. Huh. I got some free bond points for doing that. I wonder if there's other secret interactions I've missed. Probably not. I think I've been pretty much everywhere, but it's interesting. Oh, it's a place that they said all the adult stores were at. <laughs> Apparently, we need to go this way to get there. Okay, well, let's make our way over to where we need to be. Okay. Well, I think we can get the chill safely from here. Oh, well, let me head in. Right here? Right next to the road? Can we go to a safer location? Um, sure, let's go. Well, this'll be our third kill. Let's not get sloppy. Okay. And Snow City ended up being the case. Okay, so we know who our palace monarch is. Shit! 
Well, here we are. Apparently this is indeed Sapporo's um, palace, or technically prison, since it's prisons and a palace because of the fact that there's always been a castle at the end. So with that being the case, we're finally inside the third prison of the game, Snow City apparently. But with that being said, honestly, um, who even knows what we're going to be running in here, but it's definitely huge, that's for sure. It does make sense, it is the fifth largest city in Japan, so I guess all we need to do now is just make the jump and get right into the jail. So, let's see what's going on. We must sit in case to nice. Its serenity belies a yawning desolation. Oh, it is known for being where the, um, the snow festival takes place based on what Ryuji was talking about. So, makes sense. Well, the fact that we can enter the steel means that Mari-san really is the monarch. Yep, that would be the case. Which, poor Haru, honestly. Happening again, another person she knows ends up being a palace ruler of some sorts. <laughs> That's definitely not good, and she definitely not had a good um, track record with that because she lost her father because of the palaces. So... Definitely don't know if reopening an old wound is is the best thing for her, but it's all we can really do, though, since we can't, you know, not deal with her. Um, Noir. It's okay. My main concern is returning everyone's desires. Well, needs a building in the Sintetno Tiki Castle to be cool there. Probably there, yeah. The, is that a fork and a knife? I just noticed that. Huh, that's weird. Why is there a fork and knife coming out of the ice palace over there? And there's and that's definitely where our bird cage is too, because we can see the chains. So that's definitely where we want to go. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that's where the desires gotta be. Yeah, it's gotta be. Bird cage means desires from every other place we've been to since two palaces in a row, same place where it was, definitely where we want to go. Oh, okay. Then let's make investigating that castle our top priority. Okay, down we go. <laughs> let's jump right on in. And I actually just saw a stained glass mirror with Mariko's face on it. I want to actually look at that if we can. But it's... Oh, not right away though. Because <laughs> I just noticed it for a second when we jumped off. Intruders, get them. Wow, they notice us fast. Okay, feed them and move on indeed. We got Lilum, Zay, and Jack Frost. Hey! <laughs> that definitely fits the bill because of the fact that, you know, Jack Frost are specifically um, ice based personas. So that's actually pretty cool to see. <laughs> Always gonna love that though. Definitely gotta like the fact that the game is definitely, you know, recognizing it. But so far, so good though. Nothing dangerous though. Just due to the fact that um, we're not using anybody that's weak to ice at the moment. So nobody's taking major damage, which is always good. And also, um, I think I got better at using Haru finally, because how you use her is you actually just hold the triangle button after hitting the combo. There's one combo that I do need to learn that, um, better is this one. There we go. You have to time it specifically in order to do it correctly. So it's after a certain part of that swing that you have to do. Thankfully, I got it on the first try, but it's not the easiest thing to do. To be completely honest, because I'm trying to do it um, off episode and try and learn it, and I was actually able to learn it, thankfully. But it definitely does come with some timing. It's something like Sophia, where you have to kind of get used to the timing and everything. But it's pretty good, though, honestly, nonetheless. Ooh, free mask. Wink. <laughs> I'll be taking that. And also, let's go check out that stained glass mirror, just because it did catch my eye. And they also got Swift Strike. Heavy physical damage to a wide area of foes. Ooh, that's really good early. I'll definitely take that. 
his first strike is really good, just in general from the last game. In general, but I'll definitely take that. Thanks, game. Okay, triple down. That should be good damage too. Heavy gun damage to a wide area of foes with high critical chance. And that's pretty good. Um, honestly, just get rid of um snap for that. There's no reason not to change snap for triple down. I'll definitely take that. And then the next one's gonna be medium um in a larger area. Definitely good. That'll definitely be helpful. But yeah, that did change. <laughs> um, technically you could. Mm, absolutely not. What do shadows want to ambush you? Mm, be strong, Oracle. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's see here. But yeah, this was a different picture before, because I noticed it on the, um, what was it? It was, um, trying to remember. It was like kind of like an old gentleman, but it definitely changed, though. <laughs> Interesting. So, like, the last palace, there's, like, definitely things that were changed between the areas. <laughs> Interesting, but the last one was vanity though, so it can't be vanity again. So wonder what this one would be, because they be they've been fi fi um film you know it's been like the same it's been the same when it came to the um seven deadly sins and the last one. So interesting, because we had um we had um what was it? I'm trying to remember what the first one was. I think it was Lust was the first one, just like Kamashita, and then the um, one after was Vanity, which was just like um, Madarame. So this would be, if we're going based on the last game, since it's still following the same, you know, around the same area, it would have to be Gluttony? I think that would make sense, because it, it was the next one after that, because that was Kaneshiro's was Gluttony. So, interesting. I want to change out my party real quick, just because we're using the same thing we had last time. So let's see here, we'll definitely change out some characters. Um, Haru can change for Yusuke, and then Morgana. We can keep Morgana, and then I'll swap out Ryuji. But I have to change characters in order to do that one. So let's see here. I would like, um, I, it would be fun to be able to change Jinkuro. To be able to play as, um, like fully just as Phantom Thieves, um, of the members just um, every now and then, but it does make sense why you would have to use Joker um, as a for sure character since he is the main character, but it definitely would be cool though. But let's see here, I think Morgana on in Yusuke would be fine. That sounds like a fun time. But let's see here, I think I'll play as Yusuke. <laughs> I think that should be a fun time. But let's see here, we want to make our way that way. Okay, so let's make our way that way then. No reason not to, since definitely seems like where we want to go. But we don't know what's really going to happen if we go straight to the castle yet. Since the last castle we couldn't just walk right into, let's be honest. So we do need to be careful, just in case if anything might stop us. Since we had, we did run into the fact that we had to find the proof in order to make our way into the castle in the first place. In the last one, for Prince of Nightmares castle. So, definitely need to be on our toes for any kind of mini bird cages around that might be powering anything that might be stopping us. Looks like we have a giant wall, but that's not a bad thing because I saw that on the map over here there's a jump up location, so we're definitely gotta go up here. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Oh, hello. <laughs> he technically saw me, but he technically didn't because of the fact that um, I jumped to that quickly enough that he didn't notice me right away, which was kind of funny. I'm surprised that worked because of the fact that um, because I use the counter button, it stops the amount, um, the speed of how fast they notice you, just because it's something that, um, stops you from actually moving your character. So thankfully I was able to jump to the cover point fast enough for it to cancel out that, um, you know, being smacked by the shadow there, and then them getting the advantage on me, which is definitely nice, because honestly getting, them getting the advantage can definitely be detrimental, that's for sure. But let's see here, going that way, but is there anything hidden around here. Nothing so far, but we did get a bond point, so we probably should spend that real quick, since that is something we can use. And if you guys are wondering, I ended up getting Avenger, which means if we dodge, we actually can get a free counterattack, which is pretty good, which you can, e you can get it either through um, auto-dodge or you can get it through dodging yourself. And if you dodge just at the right time, you'll get a free counterattack and we'll do a big hit. And it can break armor, I believe, if I remember correctly. 
since I haven't gotten to use it yet since we got it before we actually got to go inside the palace. And apparently, um, if we want safe cracker level 2, we have to complete a request. That would definitely be nice. I'll definitely take that, but let's see here. I think the best thing, honestly, here for me right now would actually be to be able to have longer buffs. That would be nice. But actually, I think, and honestly, we could just get all of these at least into level 1. That seems like a good idea. Just because then we have a longer, well, we get stronger magical and physical abilities. Longer in ailments, which is nice. Or actually, better, better chance to get ailments. And then um, longer buffs and debuffs for our personas, which is definitely helpful. That definitely seems like a good idea. Definitely, for sure. Let's make our way to the other side of this um, wall, though. And before this guy can smack me, we'll definitely knock him down. And it looks like we also have different types of shadows to deal with now, too. By the fact that, um, that was, um, that was one of those guys that actually holds a sniper rifle. And they can actually eat you for quite a bit of damage if you don't knock them out. So we actually do need to focus those if we ever see them. Because we did see one during the, the initial jumping in of the palace there. And, um, definitely, um, thankfully he didn't hit me, but you definitely do want to be careful with the sniper rifle dudes. I do remember them being a menace if you, um, don't want to get hurt. <laughs> oh, I thought that was new. But, let's see here. Just making sure there's nothing for us to, um, worry about. So far, so good, though. Okay, Dory Park. Let's make our way over there. That's where our... Actually, yeah, that's where, um... Oh, so this is what's been like, like, <laughs> it's all white and crinky. <laughs> Just don't roll around in it, Sophie. You don't blend in so much, we might lose ya. <laughs> that might actually be the case, because she is wearing a white jacket. So that <laughs> actually is kind of funny. But, um, this is where our car is, actually. Our little camper van. So, huh. So where exactly would that be from here? Probably over by, um, over there, maybe? I honestly don't know, but let's go over here, though. Oh, push. Let's push this. Pushy. Oh, that works. <laughs> Drop that into the shadows and freak them out. But that didn't work in the way you're supposed to use it, it seems, because it seems like you have to do it from the other side in order to actually use it correctly. But it's still funny, though, to use it. Oh, sniper rifle. Where is he at? I want you guys to see it, if I can get him to... There he is, so as you can see. And actually, we'll let him hit us. If I'll, um... Well, <laughs> if my teammates will knock him out, then he's... I wanted to show you guys it, but my team is focusing on him. To the point where he wouldn't be... We wouldn't really be able to showcase why you don't want them to be around. Because they do they do, do some damage, if you let them do so. But it's... If, if you're vigilant, you won't be taking much damage from them, let's be honest, because you know that they're there, and you don't have to worry. Let's move this, because that's in my way. And get this checkpoints. Adoring Park has now been registered into the checkpoints. Now, I'll be taking that. And actually, it might be better for us to use on here, honestly. Okay. Well, Dory Park. And it looks like we got a bunch of ice walls. Definitely interesting. So how are we going to get through this? Oh, this castle should be just beyond here. Oh, how far did this ice wall go? Oh, doesn't seem like we can just break through it. Well, that's not good. Since it's blocking the way to the place that we need to go, and there's no way around it based on the map. So, huh. Oh, this place is so cold and empty. It's killing to think this is how someone sees the world. Oh, it's over for me. Oh, getting too sleepy. Um, please don't sleep in the snow. That's not a good thing to do. Um, Oracle has fainted. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, looks like we need to use a revive on her. Um, come on. Stop fooling around. This m there must be an alternate route somewhere. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe we can maybe um, warm up a little bit too because everyone seems to be freezing. Because we don't wear, you know, anything when it comes to... Ice resistance, let's be honest here. So everyone's definitely freezing. And we saw that in, in the intro for this palace. And Sophie had the funniest little animation for it. So even she's cold and... She, you would think a robot slash an AI wouldn't be able to feel the cold, but... Apparently she can. Huh. Um, hmm. That way is also blocked off. Well, that's not good. So any area around here is just blocked off entirely. Um, then our only option is to follow this route. 
let's take it as far as we can. Mm, very well. We shall analyze our surroundings and find a proper solution. Hey, yo, it's cold as balls out here. If it don't stop, uh, Jagged, I'm gonna freeze in place. I can definitely see you turning into an ice cube, just for comedic reasons. <laughs> True. Hey, what else can I do? Every second we waste, that old hag gets another heart in the back. Um, Skull's right. We need to keep moving. True there, bud. Oh, yes. Let's explore the castle perimeter and figure out the secret to getting in. That would be a good idea. And we actually have a gigantic shadow over there. That seems kind of scary. Can we jump him at all? Because we might be able to jump him. He needs a red shadow, too. Let's see here. Oh, we got him. The ambush. Perfect. So we didn't come close enough for us to get an ambush. Because we want that on something like this. And it is a boss. So woman who brings ruin. And thankfully we do have on for this. Because on is definitely strong against ice-based personas. And this... Actually, usually it is a ice-based persona, but this time it's not. <laughs> Interesting. I'm just used to this thing being an ice based persona because of Persona 3. I remember this using ice magic. But apparently, even though it uses ice magic, it doesn't count in this one because we, we can see it using Bufala. Interesting. Well, oh, I was going to turn into Morkana there, but he got hit by a evil touch there, so it didn't work in my favor. <laughs> of course, it happened right when I was going to use him to. Okay, let's see here. If I can get a good counter here, I can get something really good to happen. I'm trying to maybe get one of those Avenger points in there. Ooh, combo. There we go. We actually did a counter attack there. So that's how it works. So if you can auto dodge or dodge it directly, you can get some pretty cool things to happen. Definitely good. Okay, cool. And thankfully, there's actually freebies here that we can break shields. Because if you can um, spin off like special ability, um, items like this, you can break shields as long as you're careful. Because it does a bunch of hits at the same time. And it has a higher chance of critting, which is nice. Ooh change into Yusuke, because he was going for a one more. Does more damage, and he show time gauge. <laughs> no reason not to, honestly. And also because of the fact that <laughs> Yusuke just does a lot of crit damage in general. And we're doing a lot of damage to this boss. Is honestly, it's pretty nice to do um, extra damage like that. Let's see if we can get the fire damage in. Ooh. Got Harrison recovery, but that's not a bad thing. <laughs> there we go. GG. One who brings Ruin down for the counts. <laughs> you gotta try harder than that game. <laughs> it is on normal mode, but still. <laughs> Definitely nice to have a boss that doesn't whoop my butt, let's be honest. Because I've had a bunch of those lately. Let's be honest with the, um, what do you call it? With the last guy, um, Ongo Natsume's, um, Shadow literally almost killing the whole team a couple times because, um, I wasn't ready for certain things happening during that fight. But it seems like we gotta go this way. Oh, prison keeps open for business? Huh, it's just open door there. Interesting. It's not guarded or anything. Oh, oh, it's prison keep. Oh, based on the past few jails, we should find something here and that'll help us. Move forward, at least. And I did see something at the top, so it definitely is here. Huh, interesting. But why is the gate open? <laughs> nice gate's open. Um, don't you feel like something's off, though? That is weird. Mm -hmm. not picking up any shadows on the radar. Well, um, even so, we shouldn't let our guard down. Anything could happen. True. Very true. Interesting. Let's get into the stronger guy for a second. That's weird. Well, there's Vans here, so... I'm blessed to have Her Majesty's presence all around me. Huh. It's really weird that there's nothing here. Well, I guess we'll find out. Well, let's make our way to the top of the prison keep. Nothing's gonna stop us. No reason not to jump there, right? So, let's make our way over there. I only believe in her, me, er, um, Mariko Hiodo. Huh. Well, we got it for free. Weird. Huh. We didn't get jumped at all. Okay, we'll take it. First, um, power source. That means only two more based on, um, other things, but election poster. Huh. So an election voice poster is one of the things that has distorted her vision, then? Oh yeah, we got ourselves a core. Oh, that wasn't so hard. I think we're finally getting the hang of this. Um, that one was a bit different than the rest of them. Um, 
an election poster, apparently. Oh, is that Mary Kohi Yoyo in there? Oh, it's the um, same silhou silhouette we saw on the other poster, but this time it actually has a picture on it, instead of just a silhouette. Interesting. Huh. Um, looks like a campaign flyer. Hmm, interesting. Oh. Uh-oh. Um, don't know how I feel about that one. We just sent some- apparently started healing as soon as we grabbed that, um, <laughs> grabbed that power source. Um, huh. Um, what? Um, the snowstorm came out of nowhere. Did we trigger it somehow? Um, looks like even worse- um, looks even worse than the area we just came from. It doesn't look like we can head that way anymore. That's not good. Mm, then our exit is lost. An ill omen, I see. Um, oh, to be sure. I accidentally clicked it early, so I had to guess for a second. Um, guys, I don't want to freeze to death here. Same there, honestly. Um, we need to run for shelter, before we get completely snowed in. Yeah, for sure. Hmm, but where would we go? Well, Sophie can probably figure it out. Oh, I can help with that oracle. Set our destination over there. Um, what did you find? Um, whatever it is I'm going. Okay, well, apparently Sophia figured something out. <laughs> Good thing we have two, um, navigators now at this point. Oh, look, look, listen. Oh, there's a checkpoint nearby, but it's trans transportation function seems to be have, have gone to put. Oh, so that means we can't go back. Did the snowstorm do this too? Oh, uh, uh, anyways, um, let's just get to where Sophie's talking about. <laughs> the snowstorm's friggin' insane. Can't see a thing out here. Um, any further exposure might put our health at risk. We need to get out of here now. True there. Yeah, don't need to be getting frostbite. Frostbite would definitely not be a good thing. Let's be honest. Um, losing um losing limbs because of that would not be good. And apparently, there's things hiding inside the snowstorm too. So we need to be careful. It seems like that. Definitely seems like that for sure. But we'll be definitely be fine. Just because if it's smaller things, we'll definitely be perfectly fine. Oh, but we're <laughs> we're healing them. Wait a minute. Because of the fact that he does affinity, uh oh, that could definitely be, be bad. Or they're healing, no, they're definitely just healing because we're attacking them. Yeah, I can be using blue form. I'm gonna accidentally do that if I do certain combos. So let's just change into on because the bots aren't, aren't gonna accidentally do that for us, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't want to be healing these guys on accident. I'll still use Yusuke, obviously, because we're not gonna run into, into that long. Like, super, super often. But it looks like we got Dodge Ice now. That'd be good for Carmen and On, honestly, since now we're in an ice based, buddy based area. So having an uh, insta dodge for that is definitely useful. Um, out of what we have, though, Dioramas for medium. So Dia is, yeah, Dia can just go. Okay, perfect. And if you guys are wondering, we can actually change your skills, which is nice. So we don't have to worry about accidentally putting something in now, which is definitely really, really nice to have. Looks like we have some more shadows over there, so let's get ready for them to jump us. Yeah, here they come indeed. Oh, it's a Sentanta. <laughs> okay, well that's definitely an interesting persona to run in here. But we'll definitely be fine as long as we're careful. Let's get a Fire Infinity out. <laughs> let's get a Fire Infinity... Can you calm down, Sentanta? I know you're you're camping me here, but chill out, dude. Just chill out for a second. Because <laughs> he's like, he's chasing me down with like, complete intent to knock me out completely. Okay, where are you at? Let's just turn into you, Scam. We're gonna do something here. I'm home done with you, Mr. Sentanta. <laughs> Let's just blast him into next week with this show time here. Just because, um, Snowstorm's making it harder to see where he is, and he's the one hitting me for big damage here, so let's just drop him so we can't try anything, because we'll be able to get that quick again, since we got it done basically as soon as we got inside the palace, let's be honest, so there's no reason not to just use it there to get rid of him, because see, as we can see, we already got 1% of that back, which is definitely good. Um, please let me hibernate. Um, no way, it freeze to death in this. Um, King and the Oracle, we're almost at your destination. Okay, and apparently, yeah, we're really close. But why here, though? Um... A teapot? Huh, interesting. Um, is this a heater? It looks like one. Huh, why, though? Um, it sure is big. 
Oh, we see people to warm up here. Yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> what the heck's a heater doing here? Oh, let's just pretty and see what happens. Hopefully it does heat us up a little bit. Oh, huh. Someone makes him warm. Oh, this really is perfect timing. We would have been frozen solid out here. Oh, just the sight of it makes me feel more at ease. We will be truly all fortunate to have found this. Seems suspicious. I like this thing. Let's cook some mochi. Seems a little suspicious, though. Yeah, that is weird. Why is there random heaters out here? Let me think. It's a bit late to be saying that. Sure, you're glad it ain't a trap, though. That is good, though. Why is there a bunch of heaters, though? That is really weird. Oh, they sell the other heaters, too. You want to go check those out? Yeah. We should definitely check them out. No reason not to. Huh. Why is there four different heaters in this area? If, if that's the case, that's strange. Really, really strange. <laughs> you mean you can see him from the tower? <laughs> now that's suspicious. Oh, maybe there's a connection here. Like, they were put there for a reason. That's weird. Oh, then let's switch on all three heaters. Mm, then let us make haste. The longer we linger at the fire, the harder it is to leave. That would make sense. You get too cozy and then you don't want to leave. Mm, oh, wicked bearer of flames, whose heat both soothes and ensnares. We shall sever thy temptation at once. Do you think you need to be overdoing it? <laughs> That's just him in general. But yeah, we gotta find all four heaters. But let's make our way over there then. Well, let's change back into on since she's closer to a showtime if anything jumps us. We can't ambush anything because of the thing though. So we need to be careful so we don't get any free heals. Unless we can find a way to actually... Oh no, we can. Okay. <laughs> now the game's letting us do it. That's nice. So let's be careful. And apparently, um, we actually got some bosses in here too that are hiding in the snowstorm. So we definitely want to be careful. And hopefully we can actually get one of these, um, things to go off. I'm trying to remember how you do it. I think it's press triangle after an attack. Yeah, it's triangle after an attack. I was thinking it was hold the button, like with the other one. But it's, it's not the case with Haru. It's different since Sophia and, um... Well, no, Sophia's is the same like that, but it's definitely... Definitely does take some use, um, time getting used to it, though, that's for sure. <laughs> definitely does take some time. And hopefully we can get... An, he cancelled it, of course he did. Thanks, game. Ow. Jeez. Okay then, buddy. How about you calm down right there? Here, you can have a Mopsio. How about that, buddy? If you're gonna go for that, I'm gonna be all overdue right back to you. Because I can tell you this right now. I'm bringing your shield and you're getting all attacked right now and you're gonna be eating um, snow in a second. How about that, Mr. Hound Killing Maverick? That's what you get for killing hounds. <laughs> Down he goes. Sorry, buddy, but you're not doing that anymore. You're gonna go, um, crazy, um, and use my phrase from cross map and hit me with dead accuracy. I'm gonna knock you out with dead accuracy myself. Let's be honest there. <laughs> I'm gonna take full advantage of things if you're gonna just spam things on me, bud. Well, let's see here. Where do we need to go? It looks like this way. Okay, so let's make our way over here then. Let's make sure to ambush, because then we can get some SP back. Or, well, you get SP back, um, in general, just for battling, but it's better to do it when, um, you do it like this, because you can get all-out attacks, and then you completely counter out some of the, um, enemies that are still on the floor, because they can't attack back, which is nice. I'm just gonna go for normal attacks on these guys, because I don't want to accidentally use, um, any kind of goofy magic on them, because then it'll drain, um, HP back. If we don't want to be doing that, then... Oh, I could have ambushed him. Hmm. Okay, then. Well, that would have been smart. <laughs> Definitely would have been nice there, um, if I recognized that a lot sooner. But let's see here, I want to see if I can maybe get a counterattack normally. It requires them to kind of, like, dash at me, in my opinion. It's easier to do it with dashes than it is to do it with, um, random skills. Like, this one, if I dodged it, I might have been able to do it, but I didn't know the timing of it. But... Definitely, yeah, if it's something that you can see coming at you, it's definitely easier. Hmm. Can I throw this at him? Nope, I can't. Oh yeah, I was wondering if I could throw that knife at him. But I can maybe get behind him. Nope. <laughs> Scripted fight. Okay. I won't let you pass. Well, you can definitely try, but it's a principality, so he might be stronger than he seems. 
But he seems like he's going down pretty easy. <laughs> We're already breaking his shield already. Let's see here. I'm gonna back away from him for a second just so I can get a counter um, or even a Mos uh, Masukaja if I can get the combo up. Sometimes it happens, but sometimes it don't. Let's see here. I think it's this. Yeah, it's this one. There we go. <laughs> it's the second one. I always think it's the third one, but it's never the third one. <laughs> it's fine though. It's just something that you remember, and sometimes you know, it's all good. <laughs> if I don't remember something for a second, it's all good. And these guys actually heal, so we don't want these guys actually going for these. So let's make sure we don't let them just go for that. So let's keep throwing stuff at them. Make sure they can't do anything weird. And actually, because they're resisting um, on right there, let's actually go back into Yusuke. Since her whip's currently on fire, so we don't want to be using fire on them. Because if I check... Yeah, oh, actually, no. Yeah, yeah, it's entirely the fire damage on the whip. But it's good to know that um, when you do the fire affinity, it actually does add fire damage to the whip. So that's actually good to know, because it's technically magic damage then. Which is actually really nice. Because, you know, she's a magic base user, so that actually does come in handy if we ever need it. And we also got two free all-out attacks for later from Joker and on. That's going to be helpful later, too. Let's turn on this heater, though. Hmm, two more left. <laughs> Man, it's so nice and toasty. You really don't want to move. <laughs> Definitely, your game was right. It's in snares him. Oh, I can make a build an igloo here. <laughs> oh, getting snissy beast. <laughs> mm, stay vigilant, you two. Oh, too bad we can't rest here for long. At least we can generate some body heat. If we um, stay a little bit. <laughs> good, good idea. Let's get huffing and puffing, people. <laughs> yep, huffing and puffing indeed. Let's see here. I don't see anybody here, but there is actually a treasure right here. How do you get there? Oh, <laughs> it's actually. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the map for this one, I just saw it and I didn't try and figure it out from there. Okay, well, let's see, it's here. Technical Adept. Don't know what that one does in this game. I believe... Technical Damage, it would be, I think, more shield breaks on Technical Damage, I think? Or more common uh, Technical Damage to happen in general? I think that's probably what it is. But I could be wrong there. And also, we're healing this guy. <laughs> Oops. Definitely need to be more careful with the ones I'm using. Because sometimes I'm using the wrong ones, and that's not what you want to be do using on these guys. Just because it's something that you gotta train your brain when it comes to certain enemies. You don't want to be, you know, giving them free HP if you don't want to. Since, you know, draining my attacks definitely does affect me. And since we're actually fully charged for three people, it's actually a change into Morgana. Just because of the fact that we can get some, um, another showtime if we do it this way. Let's make our way towards the checkpoint, though, since that seems like a good idea. Oh, big guy. Big guy, but he's actually weak in a way. Hmm, interesting. We'll definitely ambush him if the game is gonna, like, hey, um, okay. Well, that didn't count as an ambush for some reason because of the fact that the game literally didn't even give me the option to ambush there. I was standing there like a complete, like complete dum dum. Like, what's going on? Why can't I jump him? <laughs> Weird. Huh? Wonder why that happens. Well, this guy's sniping me. Let's see. He's weak to gun, though. Okay. Well, if you're weak to gun, I'm just gonna do this. Then. <laughs> you're gonna be smacking me with um machine gun damage from cross map. I'm gonna just knock you out. I'm on that one, buddy. <laughs> you have an easy weakness that I can literally exploit for free. No reason not to. Well, let's see here. Do this checkpoint real quick just so we have it. Support of Clock Tower. Okay, we'll definitely take it. We can't leave the area apparently either, so that's definitely good to know. But we do have that one's behind a door, so let's not do that one yet. Let's do the harder one first. Or the easier one first, I mean. Let's see here. It's somewhere over there. If we look with the thief vision, looks like something to do with the ice cube, maybe. Well, let's prepare for anything. Let's see, what are you guys gonna do? Principalities? Okay. Um, hey, what are you doing? Um, ice cleaning? I think? <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Well, let's be careful here, just in case whatever they try to do, you want to be careful. Since they can definitely do anything they want, let's be honest here. 
But definitely, so far so good though, since it seems like we are actually good with um, wind damage here. Which is actually nice. So we actually have a perfect um, Persona user for this area. So if we want to, um, we could use Morgana for the whole palace and it would be smart. Just in general, because principalities are going to be common here, let's be honest. If we're seeing them like this, and they're usually pretty strong of a Persona um, in general, they're usually mid-game Personas. So it's definitely, you know, makes sense that they're here and why they're so strong in this area. So definitely would be good to have Morgana around if we ever need it. Hmm, Sophie, is this where you sold the heat up? Um, well, it must be up there then. Well, you see, it should be the top one there. Well, but will this be able to get, will we be able to get that high? Well, is there anything you, um, we could use for footing? Go check it out. Well, this thing right in front of us, it doesn't break, so let's use it. Let's do that. Jump up here and see what we can do here. Hmm, well, there's our heater. Oh, it's for none. Well, we're on your last one. Yeah, we are. So let's make our way back then. So the last one was right next to us, so let's make our way over there. Wonder what's gonna happen when we turn all four of them on, though. So let's prepare for whatever happens. Well, I think I can hack this place again. Then we'll check down here, so you'll need to clean up afterwards. Okay, definitely. We'll still need to get ready. We'll definitely be ready before full all out attacks if anything happens. Oh, alright, hiking in. Make sure you back me up. Okay, we'll definitely back you up, Futama. Just be as careful as you possibly can, because we literally only, um, we don't have much vision here. Mm -hmm. I'll bring you to play. Oh, go Mona, go. <laughs> go Mona, go indeed. Let's make sure that nobody stacks up on top of her. Because we know that, oh, that's, okay, now I remember why the sniper rifles are not good. Sniper rifles are really bad when it comes to Futaba because she can't dodge. Now I remember it. I remember it now. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> now I remember why this is bad. This is really bad. No, snipers, please. <laughs> please. Okay. Way too many. And I just noticed how old she is right now. Uh, let's see, your diorama is the right one, right? That is. Okay. I just want to make sure. Okay, full heal her. Good thing we're playing is Morgana, and we- Actually, I'm gonna do Showtime, actually. No reason not to. Let's just, um, clear out what we have on the map right now. Because of the fact that, um, yeah, the sniper rifles are actually doing quite some damage right now. So let's be smart and not get, um, Futama killed like that, because that's we- Oh, hey. Back it up, mister. <laughs> there was a Santanta right on top of her. Definitely could have been bad. So far, she's doing good. No bad damage right now. I can definitely heal her, thankfully, because of um, Morgana in general. Ooh, now we want to heal. Okay. I just wanted to wait for her to take some decent damage there. Okay, let's swap into Yusuke. Let's go for an all out attack. Make sure that nobody does anything weird here. Because as long as we stay safe, we do certain attacks at certain times, and we just keep Futamba safe will be perfectly fine, because if Futama goes down, we go from, go back to the start of this fight. Definitely for sure, and we have to retry. But we'll definitely need to be careful, because we, you know, definitely the sniper rifles and the fact that the, you know, there's, oh, and these guys are self-destructing on top of her, I just realized that too. It's probably doing a lot of the damage as well. We definitely need to be careful. So it should be as safe as possible. Don't let anything get close and just have somebody kind of standing near her to just kind of make sure that we can block them. Oh, okay. Crack like an egg. <laughs> Crack like an egg, indeed. Let's see here. So far, so good. We're definitely doing good right now. Vicious Strike, go for it. Don't let him get anywhere near her. Because if we do, then it's kind of over, but thankfully she's already close. Oh god, is it pure me? Well, you're all good, so you're all good. <laughs> And also, sorry if you heard somebody's car drive by, somebody was playing the music, um, driving down my neighborhood at, what was it, 5 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> um, well, it's not that. Well, it's still early, though. Some people are still sleeping. That's weird to do, but this place is quiet, so that's weird. Huh. <laughs> really weird, because, um, the neighborhood I live in is really, really quiet. So, um, that's not common, either. <laughs> Like, the loudest noise you may hear during a day is, um, airplanes, because I live near a airport. 
That's weird. Huh. Oh, oh look! The snowstorm stopped! Yeah, it did. Huh, so the air- the heaters are connected to the snowstorms. So there is a trap connected to the grabbing of the power cores. Do we have to worry about more heaters later, then? Oh, perhaps the heaters have stopped it for good. Oh, you must be why the enemies were golding them. Oh, looks like they're pretty handy. Let's keep them in mind in case we run into any more snowy issues. Oh, I'm kind of snow doing stuff, you know. Oh, and there seems to be nothing here. Let's head back towards Odori Park, you know. Oh, come to check me still then. Oh, there may be something else interfering. Alright, let's double back. Yeah, let's double back real quick. Do a little bit more. I think we got enough time to do a little bit more stuff. So we can't use the checkpoint, so we'll just make our way back then. Let's see here. How do we get back there? Just yeah, just just run back. Okay. I was wondering if there was a short um a shorter location to get back there. Oh, we got some people here. You know what? We'll do something funny. Just because we don't normally do this. Do a why is Yusuke- okay. With Yusuke, it's a little bit harder to do it like that, just because it's with the controller. Let's just do on because on's easier to do it. <laughs> the little Tommy gun is a little bit easier to hit than trying to do something else like that. Oh, and they're pretty- okay, so yeah, the whip does do it. Huh, it's good to know. I actually did not know that was a thing with that. Like, I knew you can add the whip affinity, but I thought it was just for attacks. Because, um, if you press triangle at the end of an attack, like this, it does little extra things, um, little fire damage. Interesting. It's cool though, I like that. Because that adds the, um, her magical attacks into her normal attacks. It's actually pretty cool. Hmm. I'll definitely remember that. Because she'll definitely be helpful for, um, the Jack Frost enemies. And anything else we might find here, because, you know, it's a nice base place. There's no way there's not just, um, just Jack Frosts here. There's definitely a big ice enemy when it comes to this area that we haven't seen yet because we're in the earlier parts of the palace. We'll definitely run into something more dangerous soon, that's for sure. But interesting though. Let's make our way back to Odori Park now, since that's apparently where we need to go next. And hopefully- oh, hello Mr. Red Enemy. Apparently that's where we're going. What's going on with you? Huh, how would you make it through the snowstorm at Skades? Um... We just walk through it, mister. Oh, so this is a goon behind the stimming mess. Um, oh, I'll get punished for sure if she finds I, well, I goofed up. Sorry, but you're all gonna die right now. What? Um, how about no, how about, uh... Oh, you're... Oh, you, you, you sure about that, bud? <laughs> you're you sure? Wait a minute. Are you sure? Are you sure, mister? Oh, we got a counterattack. That, that was an auto one. Um, square triangle summons Carmen to cast Runda. Oh! Cool, we'll do that. There we go. Free to Runda free. <laughs> definitely take a freebie. Okay, let's back out of him so we can't just do something like that, because that would definitely hit hard if we let him. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get some good hits in here. Because if we can do a big combo, we can get some freebies. Let's try and see if we can maybe get a free. There we go, Hagi Leo. <laughs> That's what I want to try and go for. Is if we can get those to work, then it's definitely good. Let's go for a good old showtime. No reason not to, because this will knock them down for a second, giving us enough time to figure out what we can do um, when it comes to a baton pass. And also, um, we probably should heal actually. So let's go into you, Morgana, for a second. We're actually gonna go for ooh technical. Ooh, yeah, go for technical real quick. And then go for a diorama on her, and then baton pass into on for a showtime gauge. Definitely smart. Definitely smart. Okay, let's go back into you. And it doesn't look like we have another technical for free, but it definitely is nice that we can go for that. <laughs> um, I was hoping we can get a miracle rush there, because if you go for um, double triangle in that- Oh, we actually got it! That's, a, that's actually apparently rare. I don't know how rare. Or what the percentage is on that, but um, if you can get the orange version of that to go off, you can actually get some pretty um, well break through the shields much easier, obviously, because it's a big crit and not a small crit like the normal um, miracle punch was. That's definitely cool, though. I'll definitely take that. Thanks, game. <laughs> definitely useful. Definitely useful indeed. 
Let's back out for seconds. Let him cast his Medusa since he's trying to go for some bigger, scarier damage. And thankfully, since he tried to drop my defense, his um, attacks actually don't go as much as he thinks they're going. <laughs> Definitely gotta try hard here, but if you want to get me, just gonna be honest there. Since, honestly, um, Jack Frost is less scary to me than some of the things we could be fighting right now. Let's be honest. I think Ongo Natsumi was a lot scarier than this thing. Even though he's a hard, technically, you know, a, like a higher level boss than Natsume was. But honestly, it was more of the, um, the fact that you have to try and survive longer when it comes to him trying to get some miracle rushes and try and go for some funny um, things with this guy. Apparently, we're not getting that fast. Okay, let's go back to on. Let's see if we can maybe get a good Augie Leo in here. Because I might be able to break, get the break through his shield. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you, bud. Always kind of like you for helping me out here. Okay, another shield break. Another great, um, baton pass into Morgana. Get some good showtime gauges. And just keep building up um, any kind of showtimes we can get. Because that'll definitely help us out. And he's pretty much done for the count here now. And honestly, um, ooh, technical. <laughs> Let's just go for that, and that'll knock him out. There's a shield break and some extra damage. Down you go, buddy. He got to try harder than that. 2,300 yen. And we also got a level for Yusuke. Go on, what do you want? Speedmaster. Um, auto Sukaja at the beginning of a battle is nice. Hmm. Huh, that's an interesting one. The reason why is because... He can cast Sukaja with his normal combos, so he might not even need this. You know what? Yeah, we'll do this. Auto Sukaja on himself, and then cast Sukaja using skills would be better. Yeah, that's probably smarter. I can double check that, actually. Alright, this is out of stuff, Snowstorm. Oh, all the techniques and technologies back. Oh, I guess Shadow was blocking it. Now we should be able to get back and forth like we like. Oh, that's good. Thanks, game. Let's check here. Since that is something that I am curious about. So spam this. Make sure it does cast it. Or actually, it wasn't that one, is it? It's this one, I think. No, it's Buffalo. Hmm. Or is it one? I'm trying to make sure which one was. It's first one. Okay, so yeah, we can still cast it. So it's fine. And we just have to do it, um, like once. You go in here and then cancel, and you do regular Sukasha. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, we don't need the skill, specifically. Oh, they bring out too much stamina. I'm going on fumes. <laughs> It'll be fine, Rana. Right, it looks like we got a cutscene of some sort. Oh, huh? The ice falls calling. Oh, no kidding. Winter why? Hmm, something tells me even a massive heater couldn't have done this. Huh, that's weird. So why is the ice wall gone? Um, hmm, I have a hypothesis. You do? What's going on? Um, in Shibuya and Sendai, our key to progression both times was it quite the top of the prison key. If the same logic applies, that then couldn't that quarry be found earlier be the key to melting these ice walls? That could be the case, so in order to melt the ice walls, we need to break the, or steal the, um, power cores. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So if we want to progress, look for areas that have opened up because of the power cores being missing. Okay, seems smart. Yeah, that'll work. Thanks, Morgana. That's actually a decent hypothesis, actually. Mm, that could be very well be possible. <laughs> yeah, not getting it. <laughs> you don't get much reach, but it's fine, though. No? Well, remember, we're in the metaverse. Some things we just have to accept and move on. In this case, we'll need to mount more ice walls to get inside the castle. Um, then, we know what we need to do. Alright, Sophia, ready or not. Um, here I come. <laughs> here we come indeed. So, I'm gonna, um, we're in the other cores anyways. Well, this seems to be the only path we can take. Let's keep moving. Okay. And where would this lead? Just wondering. Arbitorium. Interesting. Um, hmm. Trying to think if I want to um, do an extra area before we end off. Let's see here. Going based on time. You know what? We'll do a little bit. So let's go into the Arbitorium and check it out. Might as well, since 
I thought about it. Might as well see. We'll go to that checkpoint there. I think that's a good spot. Just because um, I want to do a little bit more. I don't want to quit right away. So we might as well check out. So let's see our cover points. We need to make our way to the top of... Oh, here we go. Okay. I got confused. I thought I had to climb something else. Okay, so we're climbing forks. That's interesting. <laughs> Bunch of forks and, um, like, cutlery. Interesting, but there's another prison keep, though. So at least they're close by. Ooh, this is the prison keep. Oh, it's our second one. Let's do this. Yep. And there's also one of those flying guys, too. Thankfully, he's easy to deal with because of the fact that we can just shoot him out of the sky. So he's definitely easy. And when you're in a fight, it's more easier to deal with those guys. But apparently, he ended up being the woman who brings Ruin boss. So we're perfectly fine there, so we don't need to worry about that as much than I thought that we were actually going to worry. Let's actually drop these little cupcakes. <laughs> Might as well. No reason not to, right? <laughs> Since it seems like this is our way of breaking shields. And although there was only two of them, definitely helped. Because the first shield break um, into an all-out attack is always the best one. Because they get knocked down for quite some time, and it does a lot of damage. So, honestly, with the, um, this thing being the way it is right now, we're actually in a very good spot. And honestly, the longer they're on the ground, the bigger um, amounts of crits you can get with Yusuke. So, that actually helped out gradually, honestly. Down they go. Perfect. So, let's see here. Something down there. A bunch of sh shadow dogs. Is there anything I can jump to for a cover point? Oh, right there, the cupcake. Um, let's see here. How would I get there, though? I'm trying to think if I can maybe, if I can do it from the sky. Perfect. So let's do this group, just in case. Since this one's right next to me. And I can do one of these if... Oh, well, we don't need to. It's one of these fights. And it's a little bit easier, because if we don't need to drop the thing on top of them, then we don't need to, honestly. Since, obviously, we're doing perfectly fine here without dropping the cup giant cupcake on them. Even though it's a big crowd of these little shadows, but they're not strong enough to be an actual threat, which is nice. So we don't need to worry about that one, because we just got a bunch of all-out attacks for free. Okay, there's something we need to ambush over there. Let's wait for him to kind of move into a better position, and then jump him. There we go, perfect. <laughs> Anytime we get an ambush, we just get free HP. That's the reason why I'm doing it. Because there's no reason not to, honestly. Since it's definitely better to do that than not doing it at all. Because it definitely helps because of the fact that it's, um, anytime you do those ambushes, you just do a good chunk of damage for free. This looks like a fighting area. Well, let's jump to the chandelier and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> down we go. Okay, hello, Mr. Drone. What's going on? Oh. Mothman. Oh, that's an easy fight. <laughs> but it looks like we got some more... Oh, more Mothman. Those are easy, though. Those are... Um, anything gun damage is gonna do good on them. Oh, be careful, we're captain. <laughs> you say that, but, um, honestly... <laughs> I'm sorry. Anything with a gun damage is just weak, in my opinion, when we can use guns. Because, well, to be honest here, bam, on attack. It was something that was actually dangerous and I would be scared of this fight, but I'm sorry for this. This is just comedy gold to me. Try me, buddies. If I, if you, if um, what do you call it? If the if the enemies could use um like gun damage more often, then yeah, it would be more dangerous because you can use a mob man and be perfectly fine in this game. But um, when it comes to you know just in general. Having to fight something like this, and wait a minute, this guy on top of me needs to go. I need to shoot him out of the sky, and this guy does some too much damage for me to deal with right now. I just don't want him to do anything weird. Okay, let's baton pass it on for a second, and then let's go back into you. And apparently, wow, they're really aggressive in this area. <laughs> wonder why there's so many shadows um, in this one little corridor. I guess they saw us coming, I guess, based on that. Let's, let's see here, go for another all attack. Just keep dropping anything we possibly can. Oh yeah, we also got these knives too. <laughs> so yeah, you literally have just freebies hiding around everywhere. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> you gotta try harder than that game. <laughs> Throw a bunch of Mothmen in a place with a bunch of items that literally are just free wins for me when it comes to this fight. Because it really, it really shows when I just pull out the gun it refreshes after every battle, 
So, <laughs> the Mothman really don't have a chance. And honestly, 14 bullets there, like if I swap into like every character, well actually Morgana went through a lot, he went through 8 bullets per, per shot, which is technically not 30, but On has 80 bullets. I could just shoot one of them and it would break their armor, <laughs> just because they're weak to it. So it's actually kind of funny. Oh, just make sure everyone is ready and alert. We need to be prepared for whatever comes our way. True. So far, nothing dangerous, though, so let's keep making our way over here. And we're at our checkpoint now, so I think this is where I'll end off today's episode, since I only wanted to do a little bit extra, since um, I felt like we could do a little bit more. But I wanted to make sure we were at, like, you know, we made some progress before we, you know, we just didn't just go back to the checkpoint that was right at Theodore Park, and just did a little bit more. So we're already halfway to the next um, prison keep, though. And whatever is going on in that area looks a little strange. Looks like some kind of weird, <laughs> weird looking slope looking thing, but it probably is a slope actually. Wait a minute, we can take a look at that for a sec. Might as well since I brought it up. Yeah, it is a slope. Huh, interesting. I guess we're going skiing in the next episode. But with that being said, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep being spooky, and I'll see you all in the next one. And in the next one, we'll be continuing on our palace infiltration. And maybe we'll get both of the rest of the um, power, um, you know, the power uh, cores that we need. Since we're already getting the second ones, and that's really quick. So we might be finishing up the palace in the next episode, for all I know. Because we're already at second one. Who even knows how far the third one is from here. And usually when we grab the third one, we leave. So, hmm, interesting. With that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And keep being spooky. Peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode. And keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.